Leave it up there. Okay. Anyway, where, 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 are you, where are you actually from? To, uh, out of what are you doing? Concanon. Yeah, but what, what are you doing? You're doing a right here book, is it? Yes, yes. Uh, my uh, own professional work, I belong to the Minister of uh, uh, Agriculture and, and Fisheries. All right. And I'm working on fishery production. All right. I spent year, one year and a half in Vancouver, Canada, to oh, work yeah. on uh, salmon reproduction. Canada has done a, a good job using uh, artificial uh, uh, spawning ground. All right. But uh, we re realize now they have problems. So as they, they go, there will be more preserving the spawning ground, uh, natural mm -hmm. spawning ground. Mm -hmm. So this is one thing. So uh, I'm trying to make this book in order to uh, know, you know what is going on in the different uh, yeah, countries right. in order to tell you to work together. Right. Because uh, uh, we are all concerned mm -hmm. by the uh, you know, fashion. It's no good to, to fight uh, each other. That's true. And uh, because there is no border for fish, they eat in some place, you know, they move and they spawn in other places. So it's, it's, uh, if we want to uh, make a business in the future, uh, to continue to do it, it we have to... Uh, Work together. I, I'm in my, I have in my mind to have something like a, a Celtic uh, Fish uh, Institute. Mm -hmm. So fishermen and, and scientists should work together. Very good, yeah. Mm -hmm. My specialty is uh, animal behavior. All right. And uh, I know that fishermen know much better than I. I know uh, how, how, the fish? Yeah, how fish behave. Mm -hmm. So, so uh, I would like to, <coughs> to know what you think about uh, fishing now and uh, how we should do for the future. Well, I suppose cons conservation is the main topic. Yeah. Um, We've made suggestions ourselves here that there should be certain spawning areas uh, stopped, no fishing there in certain periods of the year. For instance, um, the coral ground off the west coast of Ireland, yeah. it, it's a spawning ground for hake. Yeah. And it's a, it's a place that's been fished and overfished by Spanish and uh, the Irish boats fished there as well, but not, in the, not as much as the Spanish longliners. And now the Spanish netters as well, mm -hmm. you know, the, the fish nets for to hater and um, we think these areas should be closed for fishing for mm -hmm. certain periods of the year. There's other areas south of here as well, the Pistola and places like that. But mainly our concern is the coral. Um, we try to work together with the French and the tuna. Um, my boat now is preparing to go to sea for tuna in two weeks time. What is the name of your book? The Tano. T R N O. But uh, the biggest problem with, with the, the, the tuna is that um, we think net fishing is the only viable way to fish tuna. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're limited to 2.5 kilometers. Yeah. Which is, I think, is a bit, a bit silly, you know, because the tuna. The net fishing is not affecting the tuna. The tuna is still a very strong stock. Mm -hmm. And um, while taking all the boats, say not all the boats, but some of the boats here that want to go out to tuna, and taking them off the local whitefish and etc. etc., they take a lot of pressure off the stocks. Yeah. So that's we're trying to fight to get a future fishery in the tuna. Mm -hmm. But we have spoken with French boats on that as well. But what the what the EU and the Spaniards want to do is um, ban it altogether. Yeah. But uh, some of the people they're taking their advice from, like Greenpeace, etc., want to ban all types of fishing. Yeah. So that can't be the case, of course. We have to we have to keep fishing sometime, something anyway, you know. Yeah. There has to be regulations, of course, but... Uh, I don't know... White fish is very important here also, but um, the biggest problem is illegal fishing, I think. Yeah, yeah, more illegal. Yeah, yeah. yeah very much so, yeah. Because I know, you know from a uh, <coughs> friend who are in Britain is that they are, they, they are fishing uh, on uh, fast net a lot when, uh, when fish are spawning. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, to the, even today in our newspaper, 
Spanish, Spanish fishing boat. Yeah. There's 23 Spanish boats arrested since January. Ah, 23. Yeah, for illegal fishing. Yeah. 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 Yeah
uh, fish for restaurant for tourists from Spain. Oh, yeah. So uh, I think it's no good for us. Yeah, especially with a lot of new boats and fence you need. You need to be able to fish because the fleet is very new in France now. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. But now we have a lot of problem. We have uh, people do not have money; they don't buy fish, and uh, so the banks take the boat, they take the the houses. And yeah. That's why they were a very bad uh, situation, and then a strike and a lot of uh, problems of uh, riots, really riots in, in Brittany last year. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jeez. And uh, you know, there are some fish are gone, there is no, nothing left. Yeah. Like sea brim, there is no more sea brim in no, no. Italy. And uh, I have a friend who is fish merchant, so I think I will come back here, uh, want to, to buy some fish from here. Mm. Uh, because I see you have very good quality of fish. Yeah, it's okay. It's, it's very uh, well uh, kept. Yeah, it's getting houses. better. Yeah, <laughs> it's very good. Yeah, it's getting better all the time. I was impressed with that. Yeah, well, it has to be, you see, because. As you can see, all the fish from here, we're, we're a long way from France and a long way from yeah. Spain and yeah. Belgium. So, by the time we get to Belgium, it has to be looked after here very well for us. Yeah. I think for the truck, it's not so easy to, to, uh, uh, to go to Cork. No. That's why we have a huge uh, truck and uh, uh, the road is not uh, narrow. <laughs> <laughs> that's true, yeah. yeah. That's true. Yeah, but that's the way it is. Yeah. So is your first time in Castle Dombia, yeah? Yes, yes, yes. Mm. First time in Ireland too. Mm. Yeah. All right. Okay, I think it's, uh, it's good. I appreciate it. Any other questions? Uh, just... No, I, um, I think it's... Uh, what I... You know, I think... Uh, you know, uh, um, for, for, for the stocks... Uh, I, don't, I don't agree, for, for example, for the way of... You know, in Brittany, they evaluate the stock of fish because I think it's wrong. Yeah. Because... Uh, Sometimes you know they they make a calculation and uh, uh, fish disappear. Mm. And like for example in Canada, for uh, uh, I think it's for cod, uh, mm. they, they stop fishing for two years. Mm -hmm. and they put off six more months, and uh, cod is gone. The cod is gone yeah. because of, yeah. of the other countries fishing out. Yeah, also. <coughs> <coughs> there is one other thing, you know, Concarneau is twin with a city in Senegal. And they have agreement between Senegal and the European community. So the uh, Ireland is able to go to fish in the uh, Senegal waters. Senegal? Where yeah, the hell is yeah. that? So it's, it's very far, yeah? Where is Senegal? So Senegal is uh, uh, at the end of the Africa. Oh, crazy, yeah? So, you see, oh, it's, it's, yeah, that's right, that's it's right. the wrong way. That's right, yeah. So I don't think it will be for small uh, Fishing boat, no, no. Big, big, uh, yeah, you see the all oh, the big factory boats. Yeah. Yeah. You see the lot of that's another problem with the prices as well. Yeah, they're fishing off the west coast of Africa, the Spanish big yeah. boats, yeah. and they're landing, they're getting <coughs> big fishing. Yeah, very big fishing there. Yeah. They're landing after three days, mm. full up, and on the fourth day, they come in with fifty ton. Yeah, and they they, they have chartered jumbo jet, yeah. airplanes. So they fly 50 ton at a time into Barcelona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So the fish is perfect because it's only four days old. Yeah. From the first fish that was caught, mm -hmm. it's four days old. The oldest fish is four days. Mm -hmm. So that's what happened. That's and they're they they bring it in so fast and so much that they can, they're selling it cheap. Yeah. And that's that's very bad for the markets as well. It's difficult to compete. No, oh, yeah, yeah. it's impossible. Yeah. yeah. So the, in other words. And then the 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 the, the, the evaluation of the Spanish peseta as yeah. well as a big it was a three times in the last years was devalued. Yeah. So. Very difficult for us. Mm -hmm. What are the French boats doing this year for the tuna? Are they going at tuna and all that? How are they doing? Are they are they fishing tuna now? Yeah, yeah, yes, I think. Uh, yeah. They're doing well. They're doing well. They're doing well. They get the agreement of two and a half kilometers. Uh, Gilnet right, uh, yeah. for the uh, European community, but you know it's outstanding. I know Breton, uh, you know fishermen. Huh? Instead of putting one one gillnet of two kilometers and a half, they put four together, maybe eight. Sometimes, yes. no, uh, yeah, this happened. <laughs> maybe eight. That's eight you know. two Jesus. That's twenty kilometers. Yeah, it's I can I can't imagine. It's so long. Well, the most it's difficult to go to, you know. Well, the most we walk is eight kilometers. Yeah. Eight, nine kilometers. Yeah. That's. Would you? You would nearly. You would. To make it. 
like you, the the argument that um that the Greenpeace people have yeah. and the, the European the EU, you you the the Brussels yeah. is that the the dolphin is under danger because of drift nets, which is yeah. totally untrue. No, no, that's right. No, it's not so because we done we done a survey here. Yeah. Um, ourselves, we brought an independent, um, person out in each boat. Yeah. For three or four weeks of the season. Yeah. Uh, two years ago. To make a survey. Mm-hmm. To to see yeah. how many dolphins were killed. And for the whole time here, th- there were there. There were six different people, yeah. on six different boats for trips. I think they've done two, three trips in each boat, yeah. so there were probably six weeks at sea each, and there was only le- there was less than one percent of the catch. Of, of yeah. you know, and there were some trips they went out and they never seen a dolphin being caught, even though they could see dolphins in the water. Yeah. They never yeah. caught any. So the, the argument, yeah. as far as we're concerned, with the dolphins is rubbish. It's not yeah, true. Yeah. You know? Because they are, they are equipped to detect yeah, the nets. Yeah. yeah. The scientists tell me that they, they think that the only time you will catch dolphins, you see, the, the, the nets is nighttime fishing. Yeah. You, you, you shoot them in the evening and you haul them in the morning. Yeah. And uh, the only time you um, may get dolphins is sometimes dolphins lay in the water asleep. Yeah. And with the nets drifting, the fish drifting, they may drift into the net and then get tangled up. So, I don't know, but to make it viable, I think you would need six or seven kilometers of gear. Yeah, yeah. Because, l- personally, last year we spent 14, 16 day trips all the time, and we had six, seven, eight kilometers of gear. Yeah. And we need, we, you, you would need that much because you might get a small bit here and a small bit there, and you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's so far away that you have to, yeah, you have to get out and get in as soon as you can. That is very expensive too. Yeah, very expensive, yeah. yeah. Cost forty thousand for the net hauler, the nets and everything to get ready. Yeah. Forty thousand pounds. Mm-hmm. Four hundred thousand francs. Yeah. Yeah. Crazy money. Yeah, it's. <laughs> it is, but I think I still think it could be developed into a good fishery and take pressure after after. Take pressure after local grounds, like yeah. you say about the sea bream and yeah, things yeah. like that. I mean, the, the scientists say that drift netting and. Um, trolling like the French do is n- not having any effect on the stocks yeah. mm-hmm. for tuna. Say, yeah. So if that is the case, why not put more boats into the tuna fishing and make it legal so much gear yeah. mm-hmm. a- and take pressure yeah. off the local the local um you know the the, the white fish stocks. Yeah. I think that should be should be pushed heavy. White fish is different. White fish is, yeah. is a big problem. Yeah. It goes down and down on less monk, less megrim, less everything. Yeah. So it, I think we must know more about uh, when and where they are spawning mm. in order to, to protect yeah. this uh, Well, the, 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 Hague, the Hague fishing is, is easy enough to protect Yeah. because they come back to the same place every year, yeah, yeah. which centuries they think. Yeah. They I think I have the in mind that uh, all the fish will come back to spawn where they, uh, they get burst. Yeah, but I think it's it's a rule for all fish. Uh, yeah, but also the type of ground. Yeah. Like yeah. the heat, no, they like pref- they prefer coral, yeah. coral ground. Monk, yeah. they prefer mucky ground, you know, um, and megrims sandy ground. Yeah. So. Uh, but some other species they will spawn, you know, in the, in the plain water. Oh yeah, yeah. but the heat too. <coughs> the the heat spawn does go come up through the water. Yeah. But it's all around a coral area. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. there might be a big area in the sea bed of coral, yeah. and uh, it's all around the other span. So, I don't know. Uh, conservation. We we we're speaking heavy of conservation, closing down that 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 place west of Ireland, the the coral. Yeah. Pistol, it may be different times of the year, but there's no, nothing being done about it. You know, yeah. that's the big no. problem. No, until now there is no. <coughs> nothing not so keep late, talking forever. Yeah. We we talk we talk, but uh, nothing nothing happens. Happen. No, no. So it's why. Uh, I will try with my my book in some ways mm-hmm. of uh, uh, make more sensibilization. Yeah. If I all, all all people from the Celtic countries were all, all concerned by by uh, continuing to to fish uh, good fishing. Yeah. Do you have contact with the fishing the the tuna fleet in um, France? 
Yeah, yeah. Mm. I know Mr. Jung is the president of the uh, oh, yeah. association. Yeah, because we, As we, we start to have some problems with yeah, yeah. We have to go you know, further and further. Yeah. Because uh, we have uh, big tourists now. They, are, they used to go to uh, you know, Africa uh, you know, for uh, body and things like that. So now they go to uh, uh, Indonesia. They stop to Kagalen. Uh, uh, not yeah. Kagalen. Uh, uh, oh. Sometimes I, I forget my name. I start to become old. Uh, yeah. Now they are in Indonesia. Yeah. yeah. Uh, these big Seychelles, Seychelles. Oh, the Seychelles, Seychelles yeah. uh, So now they have to go further. So these are the big, the big, tra the big boats. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, but the, the smaller boats, uh, the small uh, boats are still walking the same. Oh, yeah. yeah. But the, the small fleet, the, yeah, the French yeah. fleet of trawling, mm -hmm. they still walk the same places. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. In Azor Island. Huh? Azor Island. Azor, yeah. Azor. Yeah. 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 But uh, at the beginning, you know, we have in uh, Concarneau, we have a lot of, of tuna just uh, close to, to the shore during the summer. Yeah. But now they, it's the same thing, it's, it's gone. Yeah. They have to go to uh, further and further. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me last week that the Spanish boats are landing in. Um, that's Palmas, is it? That's Palmas? Yeah. Uh, in the... In Africa. Excuse me, look at the fucking guy. Yeah, That's Palmas, yeah. Yeah. That's sitting there somewhere in the Medieval. And the Canary's. And after that, coming up this way. Yeah. This is where we were fishing last year. Yeah. 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 But uh, we, I must try and find. Is the I'm gonna. I am going to be the first boat this year. Yeah, let's try. Yeah. <laughs> so I have to. F I have to try and find out where the French and Spanish boats are fishing. Yeah. So I can get in on the fish. See, they're following the fish all the way north. Yeah. And it's more difficult when you come south from here. Yeah. 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 Because you could, you don't know which way you could miss the fish. Yeah. The mm -hmm. fish could be yeah. twenty miles east or twenty miles west. Yeah. So maybe I c mm -hmm. would be. Would it be possible to find out next week? Where the boats are fishing? Yeah, yeah, I can. Uh, Could you? Uh, yeah. Uh, you will uh, give me your phone number. Yeah. Or your fax number. Yeah, I can fa give the yeah. fax number here. Yeah. And um, can I tell you something? One second. Are you staying here today, or are you going? No, uh, to tonight we have to be in Tremor. Tremor. Yeah. To so see fishing boats, is it? Uh, yeah. 